<laughs> I just went blank. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey guys, Dennis from DC Supershine here. Um, thanks for tuning in. We are talking about compound bars today. So before we get into that, I'd just ask you, I'd like to ask you guys to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. I know a lot of you are, are tuning in, listening, but you're not actually subscribed. And uh, you can click that little uh, notification bell as well, and uh, you'll, be able, you'll be notified whenever I post up new videos. So as you can see here, um, there's a bunch of compounds here. A lot, a lot of this stuff I don't use. Uh, I just basically uh, bought them to, uh, to test them. So I'm not sponsored by any company. <laughs> These are my bars. Uh, so, uh, you know, all these bars that I have here, I'm not sponsored by any of them. I bought them all with my own money. Uh, so I just basically bought them to test them. And we're gonna, do, we're gonna be running some, some, uh, some other videos in the future where we're gonna be going head to head with these, some of these bars and see what, what works best for cutting, for finishing, for coloring and all those kinds of things. Um, but I just want to show you guys how easily it can be confusing. Um, you know, a lot of guys will say, well, I use a green bar. Well, what green bar? Because there's green bars from pretty much every company and some companies have several green bars, different grits, some are coloring, some are for finishing, some are for heavy cut. So um, I'm gonna try and answer a little bit of those questions today. I'm sure I'm gonna miss some. So if you guys have more, more questions, please comment below and uh, I'll do my best to answer them for you. So a lot of these bars are also for stainless. So, you know, you'll, you'll have, bars that are designed for only stainless, bars that are only designed for aluminum, and some that are designed for both, that, that work well on both. And sometimes you don't know that until you test them. Um, there's, there's a lot of guys out there as well that think that um, where you live makes a difference. It absolutely does not. You know, I sell, sold thousands of these bars, 4 through 9T from Manzerna. I've sold thousands of these bars to everybody across the world. You know. All states in the US, all provinces in Canada all use this bar. It's a, heavy, it's a heavy cut, it's a greasy bar, and it works. I live here in Canada, I work from 10 degrees right up to over 40 degrees. This is the bar I've been using for years. So talking about temperature and heat. So for example, I was just saying that this 439T here can work in any temperature and it does. Now of course, if, when it gets hotter, it is a greasy bar, so it will get softer. I just use a little bit less. So as the bar gets a little bit softer, I put a little less on the pad, it sticks to the pad very well, still works the same. The nice thing about a greasy bar is it's heat friendly whenever you're polishing on, on let's, let's use a tank as an example. Your tank heats up, the greasy, the greasy compounds in your bar will last a little bit longer and it'll, it'll help prevent burn marks and all that kind of thing. When you're using a drier bar in, a, in, a, in, a, in the higher, higher temperatures, you run, you run a little bit more risk of, of getting burn marks, but the way to fix that is using a little bit more compound. So when it comes to quality, um, you know, obviously it's like everything else. Depending on what you buy, sometimes uh, the bars that cost a little bit more money are higher quality. It's not always the case, but sometimes that happens. Uh, you know, there's definitely a lot of companies out there, and even some of the bigger names that are low to mid-tier in my opinion. Um, and then you have other ones that are a little bit higher quality and, uh, and that work better. Um, and when I, what, what I mean by that is all bars will work. You know, even though one bar is lower tier or not, not as um, high in performance quality wise, it'll still do the job. You'll still get a shine out of your aluminum. You'll st still cut standard marks. It's just gonna take a little bit longer. And you'll probably get a little bit less of a shine or your finish is gonna be a little bit different. So I'm trying not to mention too many company names here and, and uh, you know, put a rating on, on these bars or quality wise, not yet. Um, today I'm just trying to do a, a little bit more of a generalized, uh, you know, compound bar video for you guys. And then in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm, whenever, whenever we put some of these bars head to head and we try and we're actually going to do some, some polishing with them, you know, like we'll separate a tank into three or four and use uh, three or four bars and see which ones work better. Uh, then I'll put my, my, uh, my ratings on that and see which ones are, are better in my opinion. Another thing about quality as well, guys, is, you know, sometimes you'll get a bar and you'll, you'll need two bars to do a truck, for example. And then you buy a higher quality bar that you need a little less compound and you'll be able to do three, four, five trucks with one bar. So, you know, sometimes that bar is a little bit more expensive, but you, 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 it'll last you a lot longer. So in the long run, you save. So I guess in a quick summary is um, if a bar, if you're using a bar and it's working for you, keep using it. 
You know, if it uh, doesn't matter what the company is, if it's working for you, just uh, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, if you're having problems, if you're getting frustrated, do like me and, uh, you know, purchase a few different companies and try some stuff out. You know, I've been doing this for 25 years and I've tried pretty much everything on the market. There's not too many companies out there that I haven't tried their bars. Uh, there's probably some of the smaller companies that I've never even heard of that, uh, that I haven't tried yet or some stuff overseas. But, um, you know, just, just try stuff out and see what works for you. And, uh, and that's, that's the best way to get the quality that you're looking for. Okay guys, so most of these bars here um, are just bought for this video and we're gonna do some testing with it and we'll see how good or not good they are. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely be seeing that in, uh, in the upcoming videos that are coming. So here we have some matchless uh, compounds. A lot of these matchless compounds here are more for stainless. I have some Zephyr, some Coker, Jackson Lee. I have some Keystone bars as well. This is Zephyr as well. Uh, this is uh, the Marple line that I was using for a little while. Menzerna that I've been using for many years. And then there's also uh, my new bars that uh, are gonna be coming very shortly. Probably in the next month, they'll be available on my website as well. So guys, like I mentioned a while ago, talking about compound bars, there is a lot of things to talk about whenever it comes to compound bars. There's a lot of controversy out there on what people use, what people think the way they work, uh, what works best and all this kind of thing. I'm sure I did not cover everything. Uh, there's lots of questions that are, are unanswered even for me. So uh, if you guys have some questions or if you have ideas or things that you wanna see uh, in the upcoming videos, whenever I go head to head with some of these bars, I would love to see some comments and, uh, and see what you guys think and, uh, and give me some ideas of what you wanna see. So thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and um, like me on Facebook and on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.